Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we got Hooms with 881 rating versus Celab 2 Proof with 847 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. We're going to see a tie, and then we're going to see Hooms when the rock, paper, scissors shoot, so they get to decide, and they're going to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hand is Bunny Blast, Thoroughblade, Nib, Scarlet, Meister, so Zoo Eldish. A lot of people have actually been asking to see this deck recently because it hasn't been that popular. But this is a pretty solid hand. Like even going second would have multiple hand traps. And then they have Red Eyes Fusion, Alistair, Mind Control, Prosperity, and Set Rotation. So, oh my. Just like looking at this hand, it's a it's a pretty strong hand for sure. Gonna normal summon throw blade effect, give it a bunny blast, draw tanky, and then go chocanine, chocanine effect, bring out bunny blast from the grave, go borbo, go dryden, and then set scarlet, end phase, dryden effect, popping bunny blast, and then effect to add back thorough blade. Uh, that combo is pretty known. It, was, it used to be done way more with like rats and bunny blast. Uh, just that way you could end with a zoo in hand. And then pass turn, draw pancratops. That's dirty. Start off with red eyes fusion. Like this hand is just like. This hand's dirty. Like even though they're not even like summoning the pancratops here, like this is a nice hand. Dump to bring out Dragoon. And then Dragoon effect, pop Dryden, poke for 3k. Activate Scarlet. Activate Dragoon to negate that. And then poke for 4k. Pass turn, draw Scarlet. I'm gonna normal summon out Thorough Blade. And then go for Borbo. Battle phase, poke for 16 direct. Main phase 2, that's gonna be a Tiger Mortar. Then Hammer Kong, then Zeus. Then Zeus, Chain Dragoon, and you know, Chain Zeus, standard. And then activate Tanky. It's gonna go ahead and search Thorough Blade from deck to hand. Set Scarlet. And then end phase Scarlet, set Conquistador. And then pass play. Draws Dark Ruler. It's gonna be no good versus this board. Goes main phase one, summon Alistair effect. They're gonna chain Scarlet to that. Bringing out a Lord from deck. Is there a reason to chain Scarlet to that? No. I want to say there isn't. Then go for Amirage. Then Mind Control, take Lord. Go for Nightmare Phoenix. Yeah, th there was just no point of flipping Scarlet there. Like, I, I can't think of a reason why to flip Scarlet there. And then Summon Nightmare Phoenix, Effect, Pop Conquistador, then Invocation. I was going to bring out Makaba. Then Invocation, grab back Alistair. Um, so, right there would it have been worth to Meister Negate Invocation. I don't think it would matter. Yeah, battle phase poke. Now, going on to the next game, we are going to see the Zoo Eldritch player choose to go second. Opening hand is Ash, Droplet, Conquistador, Thoroughblade, Cursed. So this is good. Has like Droplet plus a Zoo, and Ash Blossom. Uh, Eldritch Spell and Trap plus Curse. This is what you want to see. Then they have Ash, Cosmic, Storm, Harpy's Feather, Duster, Fusion. Ah, but the Fusion would get smacked with Ash if they try doing it. Uh, chooses not to, just because like, it loses out to any Zoo. So may as well try using it next turn. And it's not like you're going to get OTK'd by Zoo Eldritch. Draw a drop loop. Normal summon out Thoroughblade, and then go in the Tiger Mortar. It's going to poke for 16, main phase 2. Make the Borbo, Chaka 9, Hammer Kong going all the way in. Full committing all the way up to a Zeus with 6 materials. 
Then main phase two, activate cursed, pay eight, feel great, go search out Lord, pass play, draw Pancratops, off the sixth again. Go main phase, special summon out Pancratops, effect that's going to pop Zeus, and then chain Zeus effect. And then Cursed is going to send Wakero. Pass turn, Wakero sets Scarlet, end phase Cosmic that. Solid, and then draw Whiptail. So, good top deck of a zoo. Go for Chalkanine. Then Tiger Mortar, Tiger Mortar effect that's going to re-equip Thoroughblade from the graveyard to it. And then Poke for 28. Main phase 2, Borbo. Then Zeus. Said Droplet, pass, draw Lightning Storm. So, Lightning Storm, hit Droplet, and then Zeus can be used here to equip from deck. What would they equip? So, I guess it depends on the list, like what they could equip exactly. Because I don't know like what's in the extra deck, what's in the main deck. Maybe it's not even worth using to play around Gamma. I don't know. Depends. I wish I could, like, see the list. I mean, it makes sense to where, like, I would be mad if I was playing and somebody could see my deck in a replay. Like, that would obviously be dumb. But sometimes I really wish I could see what's in the deck just so that way I could, like, commentate better. But going to game three... We're going to see the Zoo Eldritch player choose to go first. Or, not choose to go first. We're going to see them choose to go second. We're going to see the Zoo Eldritch player going first. Oops. Opening hand is Gamma, Judgment, Droplet, Lord, Tanky. So, this is a Zoo. Plus, like, Judgment. Will they even summon a Zoo? Maybe not. Then they have Storm, Dark Ruler. There can be only one. Meltdown, Mind Control. So even playing this in like a going second deck, just cause like if you wipe the board and then flip this, it's pretty decent. I'm gonna activate Tanky. It's gonna go ahead and search out Thoroughblade from deck to hand. And then just pass turn, draw Cosmic. Activate Meltdown. It's gonna go grab Alistair from deck. And then summon Alistair effect, chain Gamma. And that just shuts down like everything. They have zero plays now. Set there can be only one, and Cosmic, pass turn, draw Harpy's Feather Duster, and that's a perfect draw off the top. Then summon Thoroughblade. Then make Borbo. I guess, like, right there, even a, like, Eldritch Spawn Trap would have been, you know, fairly strong. Just, like, getting rid of one of these. But then if you get rid of this, then Cosmic wouldn't even come up because it would just get wiped out by Zeus if they used it this turn. So I guess it really didn't matter. But if you hit this, then this would come up. So, I mean, it was a good draw either way, obviously. Poke for 17. Then main phase 2, go for Tiger Mortar, Chalkanine. Going all the way, Dryden, and then Zeus. Set Judgment, pass turn, draw Invocation. That's good for the Alistair that's engraved. Mind Control, Chain Judgment. Well, obviously there would need to be another attribute in Graveyard, which there isn't yet. So it's not like that good. It actually doesn't do anything here now. I guess like even if they took this, they would just like take it, use the effect to like wipe the board. I mean that at that point that just gets like Earth's engraved. So I'm not even sure, like, what that would do. Draw Bunny Blast. I'm going to use Zeus Effect to wipe the board, and then Summon Bunny Blast. Go into Chalkanine, Chalkanine Effect, bring out Thoroughblade, and then Summon Drill. Switch Zeus to attack, and then Battle Phase, attack for game. That was, that was a good game. You know, if you're seeing, like, this wacky deck, like, going second... Like, pure Invoked, like, Invoked Dragoon. Not playing, like, the Mech Knights or anything. I don't know. Maybe they didn't see the Mech Knights. There's a chance that. Maybe they're playing, like, a really small engine. But I feel like with the going second decks, like, having the Mech Knights can be strong. 
maybe even playing like the Trickstar light stage stuff just because like that locks down a back row which is pretty decent but then there's also like a lot of people who are starting to play like Nocto and Dragon Link so then like that can be like somewhat stopped so I, I don't know like going second decks are a lot easier to build once the format is like set in stone like these are like the best decks right now we're kind of like in an awkward spot where everyone's just testing everything out so this deck's kind of also in an awkward spot but still cool to see also zoo eldish everyone like i said at the beginning of the video was asking for this you people asked and i provided so i i think i don't think this deck's like good at all I didn't think this deck was good prior. I don't think this deck's, like, good now. I think that, like, maybe a surprise factor of the deck, like, in the future could make it do well. But I, I feel like if people are just prepared for this deck, like, at all, then this deck is just not a solid choice. But, again, that that's just my opinion. I just don't see, like, an advantage with these cards. Like, the Eldritch cards, everyone knows I dislike these cards. Ever since they came out, I've been saying, like, these cards are just too slow compared to combo. Like, Dragon Link, combo. This deck, like, your turn one is just, like, set traps, pass, and half the time, like, half the traps just don't even create interruptions. They just create, like, a very grindiness to where, like, if you survive, it's good, which is, like how salad was and like I, I don't know i don't like the feel of that i guess you could say the same thing about like cyber dragon orcas like that deck was to just like set up a decent field then survive but not with like traps i like that deck was also like better going second but this deck does have like the zoos for going second but the, most of the elder stuff sucks going second like a lord or cursed those are like decent going second they're not, like, overly insane or anything. The match itself, though, was about 23 minutes long, which is insanely quick when it comes down to, like, an Eldritch Zoo. But this deck also has, like, insanely quick matches, like, 15-minute matches, like, pretty consistently, it seems like. I've seen this deck get a lot more popular. The matches can end extremely quick. But that's going to be it for the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.